Hi, this is Tim Erden, author of Statistics in Plain English, and in this video I'm going to explain how to interpret and read Appendix E. This is the critical values for the chi-square distribution, or distributions. Um, what we have on the top here is um, the alpha levels, and these alpha levels are in this row here. And um, these are the column headers that show the critical values of the chi-squared st statistic for different alpha levels. So this is the familiar alpha level of 0.05, and these are the, um, the critical chi-square values for an alpha level of 0.05. So once you decide what your alpha level is, then you come over here, and this column here is the degrees of freedom that you use. So the degrees of freedom for um, a chi-square statistic is found by taking the number of rows in your contingency table and subtracting one, and then adding that to the number of columns in your contingency table minus one. So if we've got a table that has three columns and two rows, then our degrees of freedom would be three minus one is two, plus two minus one, which is one, so two plus one is three. And that would be our degrees of freedom for a three by two contingency table. And now, if we know that our contingency table has three degrees of freedom, and we are going to use an alpha level of 0.05. We come to where that column intersects with this row, and we find a critical chi-square value of 7.82. And what that critical value tells us is that if the chi-square value that we calculate is larger than 7.82, then our result is statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0.05. If we wanted to find out whether our chi-square statistic was significant with a p-value of less than 0.01, we would look over here, and if our calculated chi-square value was larger than 11.34, we'd say that it was statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0.01. And that's how you use Appendix E. Pretty straightforward. Hope that helps.